Dare, vorbim despre ce înseamnă augmented reality și vorbim cu un prieten foarte bun, Carlo Burci, care a venit în România de curând, este român, dar n-a vorbit în România, vorbește o romanghieră foarte frumoasă și n-a zis, poți să vorbești și în românește, vorbește de englezi de cum vrei tu, Carlo Burci, general manager, catalist în urmări. Bună dimineață! Bună dimineață! Păi, ce să zic, dacă nu vă deranjează pe voi, aș prefera să vorbesc în engleză. Does anybody have a, have a, anything against that? Ok, I don't have a, I don't have a, an, any incredible technology that I've created, like, a, like this gentleman right here. I don't have any uh, sort of a really awesome case study like these ladies have here. Um, we've created a, a prototype for um, an augmented reality application that's that's targeted towards uh, publishers in order to sort of bridge the gap between uh, um, between written between print content and uh, and digital content. Uh, just sort of to kind of get into this, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, sort of this man right here, Mr. David Ogilvy. And by the way, is anybody in here in the marketing industry? One person, two people. All right, programmers, can I get programmers? Are you a programmer? All right, cool, cool, cool. And everybody else, telecom, what are you guys doing? <laughs> More or less. All right, well, Mr. David Ogilvy says here, the consumer isn't a moron, she's your wife, right? So what, so what exactly did that mean? He was talking about the, 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 in, the, the relationship between, uh, between the marketer or the advertiser and uh, the customer. Now, in today's age, in the digital age, I don't think that customer is a is a correct word to describe uh, to to describe you know all of us sort of at one point in time. It's more of a user. It's about the experience that the user is having. That's sort of what Sasha was talking about. Now, the the problem with the user today in the digital world is that the user is bombarded by all sorts of content. Uh, we have billions and billions of news articles listed onto the uh, put onto the internet. We have billions and billions of tweets. I mean, just the other day, I think, I mean, and even billions and billions of communications between us. I mean, just the other day, there was uh, over 22 billion WhatsApp messages sent in one day, which is kind of absurd. So I think there's, there's no uh, denying the fact that there's a revolution going on. The idea is sort of, we cannot get caught up in this revolution. We can't, uh, we have to sort of understand where it's taking us. Uh, sorry guys, I'm a little bit nervous. It's my first speaking engagement ever. <laughs> so, um, so the idea about the revolution is that, uh, that with all with with uh, with all the the inputs of content that are going on to the world, uh, people are kind of getting caught up in the right now in the buzzwords, in the keywords, in uh, what's hot in marketing. Where's the, where are the users at? Let's go to Facebook. Let's go to Twitter. Let's try to communicate with them. But that's not all. That's not necessarily effective. Uh, the, 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 the user's attention spans today have drastically fallen. I mean, uh, you, you realize that the, the progression between, uh, between you know, the, the, <laughs> the 1800s when it was theater, and then we went to Broadway, and then we went to movie theaters, and now that everybody's tuned into YouTube and, uh, and to the internet, people, I think the, I think the statistic is that, uh, you know, there's only 80% of people uh, I mean, you, for five seconds of your time, only 80% of, 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 of people tune in. For five seconds of your time, I mean, where's the other 20% in their phone, you know, talking, talking, to, uh, talking to their neighbor? Um, so mobile, mobile is a, mobile is a, as, as mobile develops, I think that, uh, sorry guys, can I get a <laughs> smile? <laughs> No, um, so there's, at this year, this year mobile devices are going to exceed the human population. So what I think that people, when people are tuning into the, their, their telephone, they're, uh, they're essentially curate, they're starting to curate their own content. They're starting to add applications to their phone that they're interested in. The content that you, the, the content that you're putting up on the phone, is the, the, the content that you're no longer putting onto the internet is not necessarily relevant because you just, you have to give them something of value. You have to interact with them. You have to engage with them. Uh, so how do you do that, right? How do you how do you sort of like are we doomed? Like are we are we not going to be able to uh, to do this? Uh, no. Okay. So in order to engage with these users, uh, all right. Let me 
I'm just gonna do this fast. <laughs> you please play the, the video, please. So as I as I said before, uh, 
the, it's important to understand that uh, dig the digitalization of, uh, of the world is inevitable. So the new distribution network for content is actually sitting in this room, it's sitting outside, and it's, uh, it has to do with everything that we, that we deal with every day. So um, marketers plan accordingly, and uh, get ready for the, for the new digital revolution. Thank you very much.